assalamu alaikum welcome to the course of digital logic design so let's dig down uh, some more into the details of sequential logic circuits first let's analyze a sequential circuit using a d type of flip flops here you can see an example of a sequential circuit where there are some certain gates used such as two xor gates for the input x and y and then the output a these all uh, variables are xor and this part of the circuit actually forms the combinational logic then we have the storage element which in this case is the d type of flip flop you can see that the input uh, flip flop can be written as da is equal to x xor with y xor with output a and uh, keep remember that d refers to the type of flip flop so here we have the d flip flop so we will write it as d and a is the subscript which uh, refers to the output of the flip flop so here we can see that the output a is the given output of the this d flip flop okay this is called the uh, flip flop input equation Similarly, if we could write the straight equation for this flip-flop, it will be equal to a into t plus 1 is equal to x xor with y xor with a. So, this is the straight equation of this complete sequential circuit. Now, you can see that the flip-flop input equation and the uh, uh, straight equation are both same because uh, you know that in D type of flip flop whatever value available here is totally transferred to the output A or the, to the next state ok. So that is why these two equations are same if we are using other type of flip flops these two equations will not be the same ok. Now coming towards the state table we can see that there are uh, only three inputs such as the present state, the inputs and the next state while there is no column available for the output. There, uh, this is because of the there is no specifically output available for this circuit. Uh, actually the next state available here is the output of the circuit. So, uh, the values available here at this column are actually uh, could be referred as the output of the circuit. So, we do not need an extra column to put here. Okay. Now, let us draw the straight diagram for this circuit. Uh, now, here in part C, the straight diagram for this example is given where you have two states, uh, state 0 and state 1. Here you can see from the state table that we have state 0 and state 1. Okay. If the inputs are 0, 0 or 1, 1, the state will remain same. So, if the inputs are 0, 0, here you can see from this one or the inputs are 1, 1, the uh, state will remain same. Okay. Similarly, if the state is 1 and the inputs are 0, 0 and 1, 1, the state will again remain 1. Okay. So, you can see from this uh, row here and similarly from this row here. Okay. Now, there are two rows remaining here and two rows remaining here. So, for example, for 0, 0, for 0 state, if the inputs are 0, 1 or 1, 0, the output will be 1. So, here you can see from this. Uh, from these two rows. Okay. Similarly, for 1, if uh, the inputs are 0, 1 or 1, 0, the state will remain, state will change to, the state will be changed to 0. Okay. So, it is clear in this case. Okay. So, the transition, uh, sorry, the transition would be available from this side to this side and similarly in the transition line will be available from 
zero to one. So this is the final state diagram, particularly for this example. Keep remember that it is little bit different from the state diagram uh, discussed in the previous lecture because here we have no output column available. Okay. If you have any confusions or you have any questions, you can write here in the comment section. Thank you.